I want to dive right into your argument uh, about right. what both siderism is. Did I just say both siderism? What the hell am I talking about? Uh, about right. what both siderism is uh, and and why it's failing the public. Who who's you know is it that we're treating Democrats and Republicans equally and ignoring GOP radicalism? Is it radicalism? Pull it together, Brian. If you can't pull this off, the big guy isn't gonna be happy. And you know what happened last time? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I wonder where my club will go. Hello fellow patriots and capitalists. Welcome back and thanks for watching. I'm Drone Tech and you're watching me watch CNN so you don't have to. Over the last couple years, I've been documenting what I believe to be a straight up attempt to outlaw political opposition to the left and the Democrat party. After four years of denying the election results and trying to undo them, the very same people are now repeating the big lie over and over that questioning the 2020 election is an attack on democracy. Now I have a lot more aneurysm inducing stelter clips to go over with you. You, but first check out this free coin offer for my viewers now if you've been keeping up with the news or even if you haven't you may have heard the word tapering being used a lot it's the new fed buzzword and you'll hear all kinds of meanings for it but what it really means is washington has to repay around 30 trillion dollars that it borrowed guess where that's coming from Yup, your pocket. Janet Yellen said we'd never see another financial crisis in our lifetimes when she ran the Fed. Now, just four years later, she's warning of catastrophe. And here we are. Our friends at Noble Gold can keep you safe and protect you, whatever happens next. By starting a precious metals IRA or 401k, you can fight the coming wave of inflation and ride out the storm with your savings intact. And as a bonus and thank you, you get a free five ounce solid silver America the Beautiful bullion coin with each qualifying plan you start this month. Visit noblegoldinvestments.com or call us at 877-646-5347. That's 877-646-5347. Make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you or just use the link in the description or pinned comment. Anyway, you all know how this works. They say one thing and they do another because they aren't held to any consistent standards. You know, is it that we're treating Democrats and Republicans equally? <laughs> it's, just, it's just so mind-blowingly absurd. The idea that CNN, MSNBC, or any of these networks are treating Democrats and Republicans equally. Case in point, Brian Stelter fearmongers about the fact that Fox News frames Democrats as a threat to the country. Yet the Democratic Party is portrayed as an existential threat. Hannity calls it the New Green Deal Socialist Party, and he labels some Dems extremists. Here's my point. Don't get numb to this abuse of language, because it is through these insults, it is through these attacks, that Hannity wields power. But what does Brian Stelter do 30 seconds later? To understand why so many Republicans have abandoned democracy. You wrote this week for CNN.com about people you call democracy deniers. So are journalists doing enough to spotlight these democracy deniers? The danger is this move towards autocracy and the way the Republican Party has bought into it and the way they are shutting down Congress and doing all of these things to bring Trump back in 2024 and to get the midterms in 2022. And we are at this dangerous point. You're part of the community, you're part of this country, you're part of the global community, and you're contributing to killing people. That's, that's unconscionable. There is no forgiveness. There is no forgiveness for these people. Uh, these citizens in other countries sometimes email me and say, you know, why doesn't the American media just call out Trump for what he is, call Trump fandom for what it is? Sometimes they use the word cult. By their own standards, they're the threat to democracy. And ignoring GOP radicalism is it radicalism? Is that the heart of the problem? In in a sense, I mean, I there's no there's no question that um, journalists are recognizing the radicalization of the Republican Party. Um, I think what's changed a little bit is that tr since Trump left office, there's more of a sense that that maybe we're back to normal. Um, but it is, uh, you know, this is not a new problem or a new 
you know, dynamic. Exactly. This is not a new dynamic. These so-called journalists have always been, or at least as long as I've been in a politics, which is around the Clinton years, but they've always been Democrat Party operatives acting and pretending like journalists and holding the Republican Party to standards they weren't holding their own party. Seeing how they treated Bush after Clinton and then Obama compared to how they treated Bush and then how they treated Trump compared to Obama, you can't ignore that pattern. This claim that Republicans and in fact anybody opposing the left or the Democrats are anti-democracy or domestic terrorists. This has been widespread ever since Biden started occupying the White House. This may sound completely crazy to you, and a few years ago, even I thought it was. But I believe the ultimate goal of all this propaganda is to outlaw political opposition to the Democrat Party and silence criticism of their media mouthpieces. All CNN does, along with MSNBC and others in the network media, is demonize Republicans as a threat to the country, racist, white supremacists, Parents who don't fall into line are labeled domestic terrorists, and generally the only thing they do is focus negative rhetoric towards the Democrat Party's opponents. All while Democrats are in full control of the government. For the last 10 months now, as we see crisis after crisis downplay or ignored by our former fourth estate. The journal is known as a conservative paper. The New York Times is a liberal paper. They both gave news the same way, which was fact-based, and I've try to always i think i'm a very fair reporter and give both sides of the story <laughs> yeah okay right that's a total lie i've searched and i've not found a single article from this woman about antifa left-wing violence or any negativity towards democrats at all but what started to happen back in the mid 90s with the takeover of the house by the house republicans and in particular newt gingrich was a new nasty um uh, norms busting um, and uh, obstructionist sort of uh, governance, well you couldn't really call it governance, that, that sort of was a precursor for Trump. What is she talking about? She's talking about the mid-90s and Newt Gingrich calling them extremists. So that shows you where she's coming from. She's always hated Republicans. And when she talks about obstruction, she's not actually talking about obstruction of Congress. She's simply talking about Republicans standing in the way of Democrat policies. So in case you haven't noticed yet, these people really hate that they have to have political opposition. And if you want to figure out what led to Trump being elected, look no further than the Democrat state media, because that's exactly why Trump got elected and um, and it was you know when both sides is sort of like you know to be simplistic about it is if you say well you've reported something that's somewhat critical of Republicans then you sort of have to say something along the lines of but both sides do it Democrats are are guilty as well exactly she doesn't think that Democrats should be held to the same standards that she holds Republicans. She's just used to that being the way things are done. When Democrats are in charge, people like her, who claim to be journalists, are always focused on discrediting their opponents and their critics, just like they're doing right now. They aren't reporting on the party in power. They aren't reporting on all the lies and bad policy being spewed by Democrats. So when the pendulum swings and Republicans are back in charge, they become unhinged extremists using their positions to undermine them. And they just could not stand it when you point out to them that the things that they're accusing Republicans of are things that they are actively engaged in. And for years, that was sort of, you know, simplistically, that was, I was able to do that and everyone else was able to do that. But by... <laughs> Increasingly from 1995 on, no, it mm. was asymmetric as the political scientists call it and it was m more descriptive of Republicans than Democrats. It's like I always say, the left or the Democrat party are dangerous because they're capable of rationalizing anything. When you believe you're the savior of democracy or the earth, you can justify a lot of crazy shit. All right, folks, that's all I got for this one. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think on the way out.